appearing in two World Cups for the All Blacks has been the highlight of Case Muse's long rugby career. I met up with the prop in Dunedin to look back on life at the top level, what winning the Rugby World Cup would mean to New Zealand, and why he has finally left the Otago scrum. Pause. Engage. It's still quite new because it was three weeks, well, four weeks ago that, that I finished playing. Um, I had a game last week for the Classic All Blacks. So I still kind of haven't really retired, but you know, in my mind I've, I've, I've done everything I, I want to in rugby and it's time to, start to open a new book and go on to the other side of uh, rugby and that's uh, trying to develop young talent. After four group matches in Dunedin, the World Cup will now be played only in the North Island, with the focus on whether an exciting All Blacks team can finally take off. You know, all the other test matches, they're just test matches. World Cup is where you get to go and say, hey, I'm going to try and be the best in the world. Both times I tried, we failed. We didn't do it. New Zealand will play Argentina for a place in the semi-finals, and they'll be desperate to avoid the experience Muse went through in the 1999 and 2003 tournaments. You get together, you, you try and look each other in the eye and say, hey, I, I did the best I can, I could at the time. Um, and if you can do that, then you've got nothing to be ashamed of. Um, you know, rugby's a funny game, it's a funny shaped ball and it bounces any way it wants to and, you know, sometimes at the end of the day it's just luck. Whatever the All Blacks do, rugby's place in Kiwi culture is unlikely to change. As a Māori race, we are a big physical people, we like to, we like the competitive part of, of sport. Um, Polynesians as well, they're the same and I think that when New Zealand was colonised, it was colonised by hard people, you know, people who travelled the whole world, the length of the world to come here, and that mentality has, has come through in our sport, is that, you know, no one's going to do it but us. The Western people who came over, I, I guess, were forced to integrate with the Maoris rather than actually, rather than actually conquering them. Oh, definitely, you know, they, they tried to conquer them, but they couldn't, but, you know, the, the, what, what makes New Zealand so beautiful is that we're a melting pot of, of all races, mixes and races, and we are Kiwi. You know, you have Māori, you have European, you have Samoan, Tongan and all that. But at the end of the day, we are Kiwi. We're New Zealanders and we love playing and we're all united by rugby. Muse left the All Blacks in 2004 to play European rugby before returning to Dunedin. At this World Cup, he's seen England's away shirt sport the colour he once wore. I mean, a lot of, is made of the, the aura of the All Blacks shirt. I mean, does it have something special about it or, or is it just a rugby Well, it, mu it must have something special about it because everyone else is trying to wear black. You know, it doesn't look right, um, you know, if they want to try and beat the All Blacks and let them, you know, it's kind of flattering for, for New Zealand that people are trying to emulate them by wearing the black jersey. Um, maybe they think it's a slimming, slimming colour, so <laughs> who knows? <laughs>